Hello everyone. Welcome to week four with Lunchtime Stories with Miss Teresa. I'm from the Northtown Library in the children's department there, if you have not seen me before. And I am one of the storytellers and I'd like to share three more stories this week with you. Um, our first story today is part of a series. It's the first one in a series titled Books That Drive Kids Crazy by Beck and Matt Stanton and it's published by Little Brown and Company. And the title of this one, part of that series, is Did You Take the B from My Book? Book? What's that? Not me. Let's find out if you took the B from my book. Hello. Do you have favorite things? I have favorite things. They are bats and beaches and bread and bushes and bulldozers. They are my favorites because they all start with the letter B. Do you guys have a favorite letter? If so, what is it? The letter B can make sounds too. Can you say Ba -ba 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 Did you? Can you say bo 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 bo? Did you? Can you say brrrr? Did you? Yes, it is a bit cold in here, isn't it? Oh dear. I think that I am going to <gasps> I think I'm catching a cold. Excuse me. Now where were we? Oh yes, my favorite things. Here are a few more. I love my Ed. It's the est ed in the whole world. My what? Yeah, that's what I thought I said. Ed. Am I saying it wrong? Ed? And I like every side size of all. Hmm. That didn't sound right either. Let me try again. I love ulls, small ulls and large ulls. Small ulls and ig ulls. Did that sound right? I kick my all whenever I can. Oh dear, something definitely isn't right. Is that an all? I think my favorite letter has is now gone from this ook. Let's check. Look at this. What is it? An utterfly? Oh, utterfly, utterfly. Can you tell me what this is? Yes, it's an utterfly. And look at this eetle. That's odd. It's still not there. Is it there when you say it? Did you say it? Oh, so it's just me then. You must have said it. Here's a pair of loo oots. This is awkward. Did you take my favorite letter from this ook? Where did it go then if you didn't take it? Oh no. 
Now the eedle is wearing the loo oots. Eedle, loo oots. What? The eedle is wearing the loo oots and jumping on the ed? Uh oh. Now the eedle is wearing the loo oots, jumping on the ed and ouncing the all. Oh. I never realized how important my favorite letter was. We really needed to come back to this ook, don't we? Look, the eedle is wearing the loo loo oots, jumping on the ed and ouncing the all with the ols. Eedle loo oots, all ed ols. Quick, you have to help me. Only you can say it. Come ack, come ack. Louder. Come ack, come ack. Again. Come ack, come ack. All right, let's do it together now. Come ack, come ack. Bravo! Brilliant! You did it! You fixed it! You put the B back in this book. CRB, the capital B. And that's the story of Did You Take the B from This Book? As in past weeks, I have had a sing-song type story. I have another one today. It is titled, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? I think you might be familiar with it. If so, join me in the song. It is, the words and music are written by Bob Merrill, and it is told, retold and illustrated by Isa Trapani, and it is published by like, Whispering Coyote Press. So let's get ready to sing. Oh, here we have a child and a pet store and there's a puppy in there <gasps> with a ball wouldn't you like that puppy how much is that doggy in the window the one with the waggity tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. You ready? That. Try this one. That doggy's on sale for $60. I'd even take five dollars off, but you only have eleven fifty. I'm sorry, but that's not enough. Oh dear. Perhaps you would rather buy a hamster, a gerbil, or maybe some mice. These Lizards and snakes are simply splendid. I'll take 50 cents off the price. Would you want a lizard or a snake? Oh no, Mr. No, I want that doggy. Just look how he's wagging at me. I'll go find a way to make some money. And I'll buy him, just wait and see. He's gonna go get some more money. 
I thought I'd sell lemonade on Monday. Now that's a good plan, don't you think? But it rained all day and most of Tuesday. And so no one came out for a drink. Oh dear. On Wednesday and Thursday I felt lousy. I had a bad cold in my head. The weather was great, but I was achy. And now I had to spend two days in bed because he was out in the rain on Monday. On Friday, my little baby sister fell down and she banged up her knee. I went out and bought her frozen yogurt and she was as pleased as could be. Wasn't that a nice brother? On Saturday, Mom was in the garden. A bee stung her right on the toe. I went out and bought her chocolate candy. It made her feel better, you know. Wasn't that sweet of him to buy Mom some candy? On Sunday, my dad got allergic. He sneezed and his eyes itched real bad. I went out and bought a box of tissues and spent almost all that I had. Oh, Dad's getting sick. But he bought, his son brought him some Kleenex. So that's why I didn't earn a penny. I guess that I plain out of luck. Last Monday I had 11.50 and now I have less than a buck. Oh dear, do you think he's gonna get that puppy? Oh, where is that doggy in the window? Oh, he went looking. <clears throat> oh, where did that cute doggy go. I know that I can't afford to buy him. I just thought I'd come and say hello. It says doggy sold. Some people stopped in and bought that doggy for their very special young son. They bought him the dog so they could thank him for all the nice things that he'd done. Can that be the doggy from the window? I wonder can that really be? Oh, what a surprise I never figured that that lucky boy would be me. How did he get his puppy? And there is the music and all the verses to how much is that dog in the window? Wasn't that very nice of mom and dad to buy him a puppy that he wanted because he was very helpful and nice around the house. Well, I have one more story to share with you today. It is another story by Jan Thomas, published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, and it is titled, What is Chasing Duck? What could be chasing duck? Any guesses? Let's find out. What is chasing duck? Asked sheep. Quack! You say it's something wild and hairy? Wild and hairy? Oh dear! What 
is she imagining? Let's get out of here. Ah! Quick! What is chasing duck and sheep? asked Donkey. Quack! You say it has big teeth? <gasps> Look what Donkey is imagining. Big teeth! Oh dear! Let's get out of here! Now stop this crazy running, said Dog. Stop and face your fears. Quack! You wonder if I will protect you when it comes near? I thought Donkey was going to protect you. <laughs> what could have been chasing Duck? Look at it, it's coming. Quack! It's here! So, this squirrel is what's been chasing you. Quack! I'm glad I caught you, said Squirrel. You dropped this. What did Squirrel drop? Or what did Duck drop? Turnip! <coughs> quack, quack! Happy to help, said Squirrel. Uh-oh, what did Squirrel drop now? Uh-oh, he dropped this. It looks like an acorn. What are they gonna do? What is chasing Squirrel? <gasps> what does Squirrel think is chasing him? All because he dropped an acorn. And that is the story of What is Chasing Duck? I'd like to thank you for joining me for Lunchtime Stories with Miss Teresa. And I will be back again next Tuesday at noon as well. Um, and I hope to see you there. I hope everybody stays safe and come visit the library's website and check out re books, request books, so you can check them out, pick them up at the library, check out our other websites that are on there. We have Canopy, which is movies. We have uh, e-books. We have all sorts of wonderful children's databases, like Miss Humblebee's Academy um, and Tumblr. So check out what we have on the library's website for you to help through this time. Once again, I'm Miss Teresa. See you next week. Bye.